back from a mission of national security. This is a government drone used to track down and capture illegal crossings on the English Channel. These aircraft play a vital role in protecting our borders and helping to convict people traffickers. Sky News has been given unprecedented access to see for the first time the ongoing operations led by the Home Office. We're seeking to achieve that balance through these incredible uh, uh, cutting edge aircraft that are gathering images from the moment the, uh, the boats are in French waters right up to the coast of the UK. We're gathering evidence for prosecution and intelligence as well as uh, preserving lives. And what we're finding is that um, every single one of these boats, of course, has to be piloted by somebody. And if you're that person, you can expect when you arrive in the UK to be arrested and prosecuted and go to jail. Inside the control room, we witness pilots scouring the calm open waters of the channel. And like so often, the drone is first to spot vulnerable small boats, often packed with people. A lot of the time we do detect um, these vessels coming across that are unaccounted for uh, and no one is aware of and as soon as we do, it, you know, it's our job to report it straight back to Dover so we do that, we don't uh, hesitate, we don't stutter, um, it is what we're tasked to do and, and we're all very experienced people at doing that. What's happening at this airfield is a rare sight. A commercial drone company working alongside the Ministry of Defence on national security. There are clear efforts that the long-standing illegal crossings are being tackled on the ground, on sea, and now from the air. And one evidence-gathering mission played a vital role in a successful prosecution. In July, a Home Office drone captured this footage of a man steering a small boat with 20 migrants on board, heading for the UK. Rebois Ahmed now faces 31 months in prison for assisting unlawful immigration. He is just one of over 6,000 people so far who've taken the dangerously desperate journey from French shores onto ours. One day alone, more than 400 people crossed in small boats. It's why the military has also been deployed. So this is a long endurance uh, UAS. Uh, it's basically there to uh, bring us two sensors. Uh, the first is a camera, the second is a radar, and we can use both those sensors to identify what's happening, obviously across the English Channel, uh, beam that uh, through live imagery back to the Coast Guard to aid uh, their understanding in terms of finding and prioritising um, the, uh, the vessels that we see. Clearly, the UK government are investing more resources in trying to disrupt traffickers, but many are still escorting hundreds of people across one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. The French, too, are yet to play a full part in this endeavour. If they allow these drones to operate on their shores, it could stop migrants entering the water altogether. This would be a major step in protecting lives and the UK's borders. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News.